Hello, I'm drawing 34 diagrams in 34 days to help you with your microeconomics. Today is day 26 and we are looking at price discrimination. There are some cases where monopoly firms can charge different prices to different groups of consumers for the exact same service because they can segment the market. A really good example of this is train tickets. If we're thinking about trains in large cities, there are two different types of consumer. We can segment those consumers because there are off-peak travelers. These are people who might be traveling in for vacation. They might be traveling during the day. They could be retirees or day pensioners who are just going into the city for a afternoon lunch. We then have commuters. These are people who have to get in by a certain time every single day. And then we can also draw all consumers. I've started us off by showing off-peak consumers have very elastic demand. They have lots of time to take different options. Maybe the bus would be cheaper. If the bus becomes cheaper, they might choose to switch their consumption. So they are very responsive to price and they have very elastic demand because of that. Our commuters have probably already optimized their journey into the city. They have to be at work by a certain time. And so they will have a much more inelastic demand. And so I can represent that with a very inelastic average revenue and a twice as steep marginal revenue. Overall, all customers could be drawn on a very standard looking diagram. But because we are able to separate this market out, we can charge them different prices. We can say, if you take the train after 10 a.m. and before 4 p.m., you can pay a lower fare. But for an identical product, but before 9 a.m. and after 4 p.m., you, you have to pay a much higher price this way, they can maximize the profit they make by charging two different prices for the two different markets compared to the same price for all consumers.